Hello everybody, it's the Universal Critic, and before you get your hopes up, no, this is not a, re not a review, this is my first trailer reaction video. Yeah, I've seen a few people do reviews like, do videos like this, and I felt I wanted to do one, and the one I want to talk about today is the new trailer for Quentin Tarantino's Django Unchained, a movie I've been looking forward to seeing for a while, and I'll have to wait a long time to see, because it doesn't come out till Christmas. Yeah, flipping Christmas, sorry, I had to keep moving around, I'm doing this on my bed. Yeah, the, the movie is... The movie looks like a good movie. I mean, it's got good actors, Christoph Waltz, Academy Award winners like Christoph Waltz and Jamie Foxx, and Academy Award nominee Leo DiCaprio. Let me talk about Leo DiCaprio's Dicap role in this movie. Yeah, uh, ever s he was nominated for Best Actor for his role as Howard Hughes in The Aviator, but he lost. And ever since then, I've seen a few of his movies since then. It feels like he's trying to recapture that lightning in a bottle that was his performance in that character. So he keeps signing up for similar roles. I mean, you got. J J. Edgar Hoover and J. Edgar, Ka Calvin Candy, the villain here in Django Unchained, and then Gatsby in The Great Gatsby, which comes out the same day as Django Unchained, no, no less. So yeah, yeah, Leo, he seems like he's trying to win an Oscar, but here, I think he may have actually found it, found a good role, because, well, I don't think he's ever played a villain before, but here, it, from what I've seen in the trails, it looks like he really pulls out that whole sadistic plantation owner thing. He's just like, you can tell like he really enjoys being nasty in this film and yeah that's yeah that's easily Oscar material and well yeah and Quentin Tarantino well I guess I want to talk about this the trailer for this film I'll have to talk about his previous film Inglorious Bastards Inglorious Bastards I had I liked but I have mixed feelings about it like it like it could have been a whole a whole lot better like I know this may sound like a cliche, but my big problem with the one of the big problems I had with the movie was the subtitles. It's not that the, I don't I don't usually don't mind subtitles, but they had to be easy to read. Yeah, and in that movie they were not easy to read, very easy to read. So yeah. Any anyway, that's my main problem. The other problem I had with Inglorious Bastards was the tone of the movie, in that I couldn't tell what the tone of the film was. Yeah, I mean like. I, th I couldn't tell if it was supposed to be funny, serious, or both, but maybe that's what Tarantino intended, but... Yeah, Inglourious Bastards, well, I can't help but feel like... I'm sure you guys all know what an exploitation film is, you know, they take a controversial subject and exploit it. Or, like, ex exploitation is like black exploitation films, which are, like, meant for a specific demographic. You know, black exploitation films for black audiences, isn't things like that, well... I think Inglorious Bastards may have been the first Jew exploitation film. If you don't, if you don't believe me, well, come, just look at the film. I mean, a bunch of Jews ki conspired to kill the leaders of the Third Reich. How much more, ex how much more Jew-centric can you get? So yeah, that's another issue I kind of have with that movie, like it was being a little manipulative. But I guess it's o I guess it's okay. I mean, it do it's for a good cause. Like it makes people feel better. But uh, having said that, I can't help but think Django Unchained is a black exploitation film. And are, yeah, because there aren't a billion of those already. But overall, Django Unchained looks like it's going to be a good movie. It's got good actors, a cool story, and though I hope the tone is a little more easy to interpret than it was in Inglorious Bastards. So yeah, just my opinions on that trailer, and I figured a lot of people do these do these kinds of videos. I figured I might, might as well do one. And I swear my next video will be the review of Prometheus.